We're in downtown New York at the Theater District, a great time for a great lady, Sevilla Fort. Dancer-choreographer Sevilla Fort has made a great contribution to the world of dance in this country. As a member of the Catherine Dunham Dance Company, she performed many, many years and performed in the classic movie Stormy Weather. She has indeed given much to the world of dance. And tonight here at this theater, the world of dance and theater will give something back to her. The Black Theater Alliance, an organization composed of black community groups, will pay tribute in a special concert entitled Black Genesis. See how she dances to bring us the news. See how she dances as she and do. A number of New York-based black dance companies presented a dance concert in Sevilla's honor. Here, the Chuck Davis dance troupe rehearsed for that concert. This dance is called the South African Boot Dance. The style of dance taught by Miss Ford included authentic dances from Brazil, Haiti, Jamaica, Trinidad, Mexico, weaving their movement and metaphors into brilliant performances. Referred to as the mother of three generations of dance, she became a teacher when she was just a freshman in high school at age 13. This is the Sevilla Ford Dance Studio, located at 100 West 23rd Street. She taught the Catherine Dunham technique until 1954, along with her husband, dancer Buddy Phillips. My mother said I danced, and I used to dance in the aisles at the Palace Theater in Seattle. And she was just, you know, a little annoyed and would try to hold me back, but somehow they still let her go, and she, I would dance, I would hear the music. But I, I had this desire to, to, to do classical ballet, and my mother carefully took me around several studios, more than several studios. I was denied entrance because of color, uh, and there are some family stories that I possibly haven't time to go in now. They were tragic and funny, but still I wanted to dance. I just wanted to dance. So my mother saw that I got private lessons until a class could be formed for me or to help me. And back and forth from year to year, I began to get training bit by bit through, you know, various circumstances. But I wanted ballet, I wanted ballet like nobody say to this day wanted ballet.
Hundreds from the dance world attended the Sevilla Four tribute presented at the Majestic Theater, home of the Wiz. I spoke with some who knew Sevilla. I'm here joined with uh, hundreds of other New Yorkers to play tribute to the spirit of the dance as it's encompassed in the work of Sevilla Ford and to also pay tribute to the variety of the culture of the dance of Afro-Americans. Oh, I wouldn't think of not being here. I'm here because Sevilla Ford has meant to uh, three generations, as is advertised, of black people, not just dancers, what black cooperation and black cultural dimension should be. In fact, I was in Atlanta this morning, and it's not even convenient. I'm coming right from the airport with my suitcase to tell Sevilla we love her. We appreciated what she has done. I'm here to honor, honor a lady whom I knew very vaguely a long time ago. And I've seen her work, you know, and I've seen the results of her work. And she's a very important woman. More silently, more tenaciously, and more graciously than almost anybody else I know on the face of the earth, made one of the most powerful contributions to, to the field of dance, to the field of theater. And as a friend, and as someone who has meant so much to all of our lives, uh, it was an honor for me to be asked to participate in this tribute to her tonight. Sevilla touched the lives of so many. She talked about some of her students. There's so many. There's Walter Nix. There's Eartha Kitt. Julie Belisari. I can't really claim Marlon Brando, but he passed through a sniff. <laughs> James Dean even came to the studio and said that he would seriously, when he returned to the coast, uh, that he had to go to the coast. When he returned back to New York, he was seriously going to study with us. Of course, he never came back, and that was sort of sad because he was such a beautiful person. I didn't know him well, but he passed through very quickly. James Earl Jones. To all of the dances that she has encouraged through the years, I myself thank her, which has encouraged me as a dancer. When I first started at the Dunham School, she was my teacher. And what can I say? She taught me everything, all my technique, all that I know, she taught me. Without her, there would be no Catherine Dunham's or Alvin Ailey's and all of the fantastic dancers whom we have today. She helped me find my individual self through dance, which is the hardest thing to do. Dance is communication. Dance deals with uh, your vision, your feelings, and it's, it's part of everyone. There are, there are all kinds of dancers. Right now, there's a great deal of interest in the community dancer who dances out of interest and love for dance. It's not necessarily a prepared dancer, but if, you, if you're going to go into the, um, uh, the community, the theatrical community, the professional community, you've got to get your professional work. You've got to get your technique. You can dance out of inspiration. You can dance out of feeling. But if you're going to go into the other side, if you're going to go into the business, you best get your technique, get into a studio and work very hard. Sevilla Ford had been very ill for the past year. For those who knew her, it was a sad experience to watch her grow weak. The day after the benefit concert and before this film report was completed, she was admitted to the Sloan Kettering Hospital. A few days later, on November 8, 1975, she died of cancer at the age of 58. Prior to her death, she told some of her students and friends that she felt so honored that so many in the dance world wanted to show how much they loved her. Very often, we wait too late to show our love. The last dance concert Sevilla Fort saw was the one given especially for her, and she loved it. For Positively Black, this is Ron Johnson.